It is the richest overbid series final ever, $150,000. And they're set to go. Here they come. And they're off Sanibel Island. Ramble at Hanover trying to leave along with her. Grandma Gordy from the inside of Best Slade plans. Fires out from the inside. They're four wide around the first turn trying to make Sanibel Island work for that early lead. Around the first turn, Best Light Plants cuts the corner with LaChance looking to tuck in. Now Grandma Gordy, Sanibel Island sweeps up on the outside. Ramelin Hanover fourth. Two lengths, Bolero Ultima is fifth. Aquatic Yankee is sixth. Have No Secrets seventh. Past the quarter. Then it's Lifetime Member eighth and Precious Prana ninth. And Simone Joby tenth, 27 and one. And it's Warrington with Sanibel Island to take charge down the backstretch. Best laid plans in the second spot. Uh, Grandma Gordy tucked in third. Ramalette Hanover is fourth. Edging out Bolero Ultima going up on the outside fifth. Aquatic Yankee up to follow her sixth. Have no secrets. Getting into the flow now seventh. Then it's Simone Joby saving ground. Lifetime member on the outside. And Precious Prana at the back. And Warrington slowing things down here. 56 and one. As they reach the far turn now. 29 seconds in that second quarter. A breather for Santa Bell Island. She's in control in the pocket. Best late plans attacking first over Bolero, Ultima, and Dubé. That takes Aquatic Yankee into the race now. Luke Willette is well situated second over fourth. Grandma Gordy is locked in and appears to have some pace in fifth. Third over, have no secret. She sets up her rally and swings to the outside. She has some pace. And lifetime member is fourth over. Off the cones, Ramelette Hanover was shoveled out. And the three quarters, 125 and one. And they're coming after Santa Bell Island. Can they get to her tonight? Here comes Aquatic Yankee exploding off cover. And she takes the lead. Santa Bell Island, not tonight. It's Aquatic Yankee to the front with have no secret charging up on the outside again in that battle for a second but it's aquatic yankee aquatic yankee very tight for a second sanibel island and have no secrets 152 and two it's official and here is the official winner aquatic yankee a five-year-old bay mare by cam best out of yankee attraction by walton hanover owned by harold lee and harold botter and michael dixon of ohio trained by steve botter of Delaware, Ohio, now based in Illinois. Luke Willette, the winning driver here in the overbid final behind Aquatic Yankee, who was a $3,000 Kentucky Standard Bread Sale bargain. And as you can see, a good-looking and well-gated mare who has been extremely consistent here at the Big M. That's her fourth win in six starts this season. And the time tonight, 1.52 and 2 as she pulls a mild upset over Sanibel Island in the overbid final. The two Aquatic Yankee pays 4.80, 2.80, and 2.40. The eight Sanibel Island, $3.240. Four have no secrets, $3.40. A 2.8 exacta, $13.40. A 2.84 trifecta, $51.40. And the pick three, 17, 20, 9, 2, and 2. The 2000 season highlights included a second here at the Big M, where she loves to race in the Lady Liberty, and she finished fourth in the Breeders' Crown. Back on the road again with Aquatic Yankee is Steve Botter, as Aquatic Yankee will be facing all the top mares in the big events again this year. Post time is set for the 7th in 14 minutes at 9.38. Making our 6th race presentation, Neil and Diane Goldman, Steve Rizzuto, and Nancy Schock. Welcome to the Big M. Winner Circle interview to follow. In the upcoming seventh race, Simon's Bachelor Party Pay, Scratch 10, Ribbon Man 6, Exacta Trifecta, Pick 3, 7, 8, and 9. In the eighth race, the Sumac Lad, Scratch 5, Classic Model 6. Here of Aquatic Yankee, starting with Luke Ouellette. Luke, yesterday you told us Aquatic Yankee was a real sweetheart. You weren't kidding, were you? No, I'm not. I mean, you could, ju you could just see she's just perfect. She just does everything you want her to do. What kind of trip did you work out tonight? 
Well, you know, they would, I thought it would be a little speed out of there, and uh, I didn't want to be first up if I could uh, avoid it. And uh, we got lucky that way. There was enough horses in front of us, and uh, I was able to flush cover and just follow. Every week she's right on the wire. It looks like a neck four weeks in a row. All of a sudden here she just exploded. Is this the best she's been? I think so. Like, I've only driven out like this was the third time, but uh, when I moved her to head of the lane, she, she really had some pace. Okay, Luke Ouellette, Steve Bowder, the trainer. Nice $30,000 yielding purchase, huh? 3000 3000 Yeah, I think so. You have to ask him. He picked her out. I wasn't even there. But he, you have to talk to him because he, he picked her out. 3000 wasn't it? $3, and, of course, that's your cousin there. Yeah, that's my cousin. He picked her out and got her for 3000 You get lucky once in a while in this business, you know. Tell us a little bit about her here, Aquatic Yankee. She just went past half a million dollars. What's the best quality about her? She's perfect. That's, there's hardly any bad qualities about her. You know, she's easy in the barn, sound, uh, easy to work with and everything. She's just, just a sweetheart in all ways. Is she uh, going to be racing here later on, Breeders' Crown, those kind of races? Yeah, we, we'll probably have her in all of them. Hopefully everything goes good. That's the plan. She raced in them last year, and she she was real close. She raced good, but just had didn't get that kind of trip last year. She might have been able to beat, the, beat them in the Breeders' Crown, you know. Okay, Steve, let me talk to your cousin Harold who's paying the bills here, uh, Aquatic Yankee. Well, what was the yearling price? It was $3,000 at the Kentucky Standard Red Sale in Kentucky as a yearling. What were you thinking when you bought it? Were you thinking about half a million dollars, Meadowlands Winter Circle at that point? Not at all. Just make it to the races and having fun. When did you finally figure out that, wait a second, we have a real nice filly here? Well, we, we kept her in Delaware. We had Daryl Whitaker, trainer in Delaware, as two and three year old, and uh, we thought she had potential, and my Steve was in Chicago, so we wanted to try to go a little more, and Steve could travel with her, and uh, so beginning of the four year season, we thought she was going to be uh, okay. What's next up for her, do we know? Um, I don't know. I think Steve might stay out here for another week or two, and so we might put in an open, and then uh, we'll start the classic series after giving her a little break. Okay, thanks. Connections of Aquatic Yankee have just won the richest ever overbid final.